Hi guys, welcome to another video. So in this video, we are going to talk about informational disclosure vulnerability, which is one of the very rarely discussed on internet. This is basically comment by one of our viewers in the comment box. So I thought of making it. I hope you will really like it. But first of all, let me wish you all a very 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 happy Independence Day. So let's never forget this day, the sacrifice of our great leaders like Mahatma Gandhi, Jawaharlal Nehru, Subhash Chandra Bose, and all those great leaders. who has sacrificed their life basically to give us this freedom so let's work together and make india proud jai bharat jai hind and let's get started so let's talk about this information disclosure vulnerability so everybody should be or must be knowing about the information what actually information like the data about a particular thing or maybe a person or maybe a device or user id and all those things right if you are into information security so you must know about what is a information so in information disclosure vulnerability we are going to divide about five to seven ways basically to test for information disclosure vulnerability so i'll be talking about all those uh, different uh, ways basically there will be very less demo probably i will show you some demo with ports bigger website uh, in between so don't skip uh, any part of this video so do watch this video complete to get the overall idea so let's talk about uh, the information disclosure vulnerability about like how do you i uh, mean start approaching towards this particular vulnerability so first of all you need to remember that you need to gather as much information about the target like you need to remember or you need to figure out all those information those available not only in google but also in their dns record uh maybe from going from whois.com and there are different tools which are available basically to gather different information i know most of the bug hunters typically look for subdomain only but subdomain is not the only everything it's just one part of it there are a lot of information that you will still able to find out uh by doing this information gathering collection or which is one of the phase before going for any particular pen testing now the first thing as i said it gathering information now once you have the information Let's talk about the first way of, of figuring out the information vulnerability is by going through the Git, GitHub code, so or GitHub account of this particular website or Git, uh, GitHub uh, repo, I would say. If you go to the GitHub link, you might find sometimes the developers leaves uh, the sensitive information like user ID, password, the database connection, parameter, and all those things in the code itself, or even the API key or whatever the uh, secret key that they use for different purpose. So most of the time, I have seen. lot of people getting huge bounty by just reporting or from the uh, password or hard coded credential from the github uh, url itself so it's one of the really very simple however it's a little bit more tricky because most of the people don't focus there so you can also go through the github channel or github link uh, to find out all those sensitive information about the your target and start reporting to them let's talk about the second method now the second method is really really uh, simple uh, most of the time this is used in ctf specifically So you can use for tools like Directory Buster or Go Buster, where you brute force for the hidden directories to find out all the sensitive information. And most of the people look for robot.txt only, but there are some of the different directory like CGI bin or maybe admin path, and all those things are also fall into your information disclosure vulnerability, where you figure out some of the hidden directory and try browsing that to find out all the sensitive information. Now don't forget to check for the source code also. You can type Control U inside the Chrome browser if you are. otherwise you can view source just right click and you will get the response to see what all sensitive information most of the time you will find some of the sensitive information in the comment area also so have a good look at that you might end up finding one of the issue which you can report and get some bounty so the third category of information disclosure vulnerability which i have seen during your api pen testing in fact if you are new to my channel i have already made lot of videos on api security pen testing so please 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 go ahead and watch those video i am sure you will like it so there i have mentioned about this information disclosure with respect to api sometime the api parameter like user id or something contain lot of information like your object information or maybe the user details like phone number address and all those things so by just by manipulating the uh, user id value or let's say uid or anything you can figure out lot of information about a particular user so focus on the api also here just by hitting some of the api you might able to find out or dump lot of information I have seen one of the guys. I think his name is Philip Food or something, who has uh, specifically tested uh, Facebook GraphQL or API to find out lot of vulnerability related to such uh, like information disclosure, also permission level. But in information disclosure, one of the part where he has found out lot of issues in Facebook and reported got a huge bounty for that. 
so let's talk about the third or fourth method uh, where we will talking about the, find out the vulnerable version of the software that it is running or the cms it is running and try to look at for uh, the known exploit and directly go ahead and trying those exploit to see whether it is working or not that is one of the way again i have seen lot of people using different google docs to find out full part disclosure to find out information disclosure vulnerability where you can go ahead and look for the like if it is using some drupal or wordpress or something and look out for the known exploit and try run it if you are successfully able to find like xss or is a url injection or sql injection or even reboot code execution then you can go ahead and report it you will still get a huge bounty for that so this is one of the again important part which most of the time people skip for adding to all this you can also look for the backup file where you will find some of the sensitive information so most of the time the backup files are inside like xyz.com/image or other thing and docs or maybe or you can slash backup and you will find different information now if i remember one of the issue that i reported uh, long back in one of the very popular payment website uh, by looking at this backup file where i could enumerate different employee the internal employee data also like the salary slip and all the things that was really funny which i reported and got some bounty for that uh, so that was one of the interesting test is i couldn't able to figure, find out that uh, poc on my laptop otherwise i would have shared with you but i hope you'd have got some idea like uh, looking at the backup file also make really really interesting to find out different vulnerability so the fifth category of this information sensitive vulnerability is looking at the source code disclosure sometime what happened developer doesn't handle the error or stack trace or even exception properly where you could see the directly the error message in the ui itself or maybe in your browser itself which will give you lot of piece of information like whether it is using sqli or whether it is using uh, structs or other thing and you can just by knowing the version or maybe getting a uh, look at the code you might get some idea and try use for chaining for different particular vulnerability like your sql injection or even like uh, xss and other thing so please pay attention to there also like if sometime you have stack trace or exception which developers doesn't hand prop handle properly and if you are able to see in the response you can basically take that code and chain or maybe you can also report this issue uh, i mean report that particular uh, leakage as an issue and get some bounty for that so last but not the least i have already discussed about leaking about the uid email address even credit card details uh, which is pretty common most of the people do that like if you are able to find out some different user email address or maybe even user id or maybe even looking at their phone number maybe like if you find this phone number leakage in facebook that is a really really high bug facebook is going to pay you pretty good amount for that for reporting those kinds of issues now impact for this information disclosure vulnerability depends actually because you never know some website actually feels their email address leakage is part of their feature some website feel like their address leaking or maybe their username leaking is a part of information disclosure to say one of the example uh, like let's say take an example of your oscp or some of the certified guys where he says like 
if you have owned their certification then you can verify and share the screenshot for just by taking your user id or maybe some uh, email address or name they would show the certificate now this may be illegitimate because uh, you are just displaying that some person has completed the certification by taking their uh, id and then you say like this user has uh, qualified or completed this particular certification in that case it will not be an issue because that the application believe that okay you are just giving some id based on that you can verify whether a user has completed the certification or not so this is the kind of scenario where the impact will be really really low so enforcement disclosure vulnerability impact typically depends on what particular information that you are able to leak on which particular website like how does the app, uh, application particularly validate the authenticity of the information or the sensitivity of the information so i hope you would have got some idea like what exactly is piece of information and how it can impact to a website and how you can basically find out this kind of vulnerability in different website so i have attached the demo also in between of this video so i hope you would have looked at that also you really got some information which will definitely help you during your pen testing because most of the people uh, skip through this information disclosure but never ever ignore this small piece of information disclosure also which might help you give you a bounty but also help you chain with different vulnerability to to give you a big bounty so i hope you will like this video do hit like subscribe if you have any question or anything do write in the comment box i will try reply thanks for watching have a nice day and jai hind